A sensor is a device, module, machine or subsystem whose purpose is to detect events or changes in its environment and send the information to other electronics. A sensor is always used with other electronics. In this episode, I'm going to share with you top 10 Arduino sensors which I believe you should learn how to use them. The sensors I'm about to share with you guys can be used in beginners level and advanced level projects. The tutorial links are given in the description. Without any further delay, let's get started. This is the GY-521 MPU6050 6DOF 3-axis gyroscope and accelerometer module. The MPU6050 communicates with the Arduino through the I2C protocol. The MPU6050 always acts as a slave to the Arduino with the SDA and SCL pins connected to the I2C bus. This module needs 3 to 5 volts. This module can be used in a hand gesture controlled robot, wheelchair, earthquake detection system, self-balancing robot, self-balancing platform for a camera, Segway, driver's drowsiness detection system, etc. The MPU6050 sensor can be used in projects where you need to measure the angle or rotation of any object. A few days back, I uploaded two videos in the first video, I covered the extreme basics in which I explained the basic circuit diagram, soldering and beginner's level Arduino programming. While in the second video, I used the MPU6050 sensor in the driver's accident protection system. In this episode, you will learn how to reduce distracted driving accidents using only Arduino, MPU6050 and a buzzer. If a driver writes a message and looks down for more than two seconds the buzzer is activated so if the driver looks down or looks up for more than two seconds a buzzer is activated which alerts the driver this project can also be used as the driver drowsiness detection system this is just a prototype model which can be further improved by designing a PCB this is the analog pH sensor which is most commonly used for measuring the water quality. I have already uploaded two videos on the analog pH sensor. In the first video, you will learn how to use the pH sensor with the Arduino and find the pH value of different liquids and display the pH value on the serial monitor. In this video, I have tried to cover the extreme basics like for example, number one, how a pH sensor work. Number two, application of pH meter. Number three, pH sensor calibration. Number four, pH sensor interfacing with Arduino. Number five, basic programming to find the pH value of different liquids. And finally, number six, testing. While in the second video, you will learn how to make an IoT based water quality monitoring system using Arduino, pH sensor. Node MCU ESP8266655 module and Blink application. As this is an IoT Internet of Things based project, the water quality can be monitored from anywhere around the world. In this episode, I have practically explained how to measure the pH value of the well water, and I have also explained whether the water under test is good or bad for health. In this tutorial, you will also learn how to use a 16 into 2 LCD widget in the Blink application. This is the magnetic Hall effect sensor which can be used in projects where you need to detect the presence of a permanent magnet or electromagnet. The magnetic Hall effect sensor can be used in measuring the speed. It can be used in contactless control system. This sensor is usually used in locations where you don't need to make any surface contact. Recently, I have uploaded a video in which you will learn how to make an electronic glove based on the magnetic Hall effect sensor, Arduino and 433 MHz radio frequency modules to protect workers from coming into contact with the moving parts or getting caught in the machinery. For the demonstration purposes, I'm using two indicator lamps, 
when the worker gets too close to the moving part the machine turns off and an alarm is activated which is represented by the yellow indicator lane. This is just a prototype model which can be further improved by designing some very small size magnetic Hall effect sensors. We can also include some pressure sensors and the wires can be made hidden inside the glove. Using such gloves we can perform ordinary tasks without any problem as these gloves are completely wireless. I have also used the magnetic Hall effect sensors in the tongue controlled wheelchair. In this project the wheelchair movement is wirelessly controlled with the help of the tongue movement. This is the DS18B20 waterproof one wire digital temperature sensor. This is one of my favorite temperature sensors. I have used this sensor with the Arduino in two video tutorials. In the first video you will learn how to use the DS18B20 waterproof one wire digital temperature sensor with the Arduino and display the temperature in Celsius and Fahrenheit on a 16 into 2 LCD. So far I have covered different temperature sensors like DHT11 which can monitor temperature and humidity, BMP180 which can monitor temperature, pressure and altitude and a K-type thermocouple which can measure temperature up to 1000 centigrade. I will provide links in the description if in case you want to watch these tutorials. In the second video, I used the DS18B20 temperature sensor and a patient monitoring system. In this video tutorial, you will learn how to make an IoT based patient monitoring system using Node MCU, ESP8266 Wi-Fi module, Arduino, DS18B20 temperature sensor, pulse sensor, HC-05 Bluetooth module and cell phone application. This is an advanced level project and is entirely different from all the existing patient monitoring systems available on YouTube. This is the pulse sensor which is used in patient monitoring based projects. I have uploaded basic and advanced level projects using the pulse sensor. The first video tutorial explains how to monitor the heartbeat rate or heartbeats per minute using the pulse sensor, Arduino and a 16 into 2 LCD. In this video, I have also explained how to get the stable BPM values. This video explains the basic circuit diagram and programming. In the second video tutorial, you will learn how to wirelessly monitor the heartbeat rate or heartbeats per minute using the pulse sensor, Arduino, a 16 into 2 LCD and HC-05 or HC-06 Bluetooth module. While in the third video, I used the pulse sensor with the DS18B20 temperature sensor and designed an IoT based patient monitoring system using Arduino, Node MCU, ESP8266 Wi Fi module, HC 05 Bluetooth module, and Blink application. In this project, two cell phone applications were used. One application was designed for the Bluetooth short range monitoring, and another application was designed for the worldwide monitoring system using the Blink application. This is the HC-SR04 ultrasonic sensor module most commonly used in robotics for obstacle detection and distance measurement. So far I have uploaded four videos on the HC-SR04 ultrasonic sensor. In the first video you will learn the extreme basics like for example the basic circuit diagram and how to measure the distance. In the second video, you will learn how to make water level monitoring system using Arduino, ultrasonic sensor and some LEDs. The LEDs are used to show the percentage of water available in the water tank. This is a beginner's level project explaining the basics. While in the third video, you will learn how to make an IoT based water level monitoring system using HC-SR04 ultrasonic sensor. Node MCU ESP8266 Wi Fi module and Blink application. This project is based on two way communication. You can monitor the water level in real time and you can also control the water pump. The lamp indicator represents the water pump. In the fourth video, you will learn how to make an automatic safe distance maintaining control system for a car to avoid accidents. 
With the help of such control system, the car speed is automatically adjusted depending on the distance. This control system is entirely based on the Arduino ultrasonic sensor and L2918 motor driver. In this episode, I have also explained what is the safe distance and how the safe distance maintaining technology can be used in real cars. In this project, I have shared two techniques that can be used in real cars which can help you stay safe. This is the 0 to 25 volt voltage sensor which can measure voltages from 0.0, .0 to 445 to 25 volts DC. This voltage sensor can be used in power related projects where you need to monitor the AC or DC voltage. I have used this sensor in four video tutorials. In the first video tutorial you will learn the basics like for example the calculations, Proteus simulation, interfacing and basic Arduino programming. In the second video tutorial you will learn how to modify the sensor for measuring voltages greater than 200 volts. In the third video tutorial you will learn how to monitor the battery voltage wirelessly using a Bluetooth module HC-05 or HC-06. Arduino Omega and an Android cell phone. This project can also be used to monitor solar panels. In fact, you can monitor anything so far. The voltage that is to be monitored is less than or equal to 25 volts. In the fourth video tutorial, you will learn how to monitor the efficiency of a 12 volt battery using Arduino 0 to 25 volt voltage sensor, HC-05 Bluetooth module, RTC DS3231 real time clock and an Android cell phone. The battery voltage information is stored in the Arduino at regular intervals, which can be defined in the programming. Then, using the Android cell phone, the stored information can be requested wirelessly by sending a command to the Arduino. The received information is stored in the cell phone database along with the date and time information. The information stored in the database can be used for the post analysis. This is the ACS712 current sensor used for the current measurement. This sensor is most commonly used in power related projects where the electrical load is to be monitored. In the first video you will learn how to make an overload monitoring system using ACS712 current sensor. In the second video I designed an application in VB.net and use this application to monitor all the three phases of the three-phase transformer prototype model. The transformer wiring soldering the ACS712 current sensor connections, soldering and interfacing are explained in very detail. In the third video, I use the Blink application for monitoring all the three phases in real time from anywhere around the world using a cell phone Arduino ACS712 current sensor and Node MCU ESP8266 Wi Fi module. In this video tutorial, you will learn how to use a 5 kg load cell sensor with HX711 and Arduino Omega. In this tutorial, you will also learn how to calibrate your load cell sensor or strain gauge sensor. You will also learn circuit diagram soldering, programming and practical implementation. This is the IR sensor which is used for the short range detection. This sensor is used in robots for obstacle detection. This is also used in line follower robots and this sensor can also be used in touchless control system. So far I have used this sensor in two video tutorials. In the first video you will learn how to make an automatic watt tape control system using Arduino IR sensor and a solenoid valve. While in the second video tutorial you will learn how to make a low cost automatic water tape control system without using the Arduino. In this project only the IR sensor, relay module and a solenoid valve is used. For more sensor based projects check my playlist or you can visit my website www.electronicclinic.com Support me on Patreon for more videos. I hope you like today's episode. Like and share this video with your friends. 
See you in next episode, and thanks for watching.